located at a depth of 6,000 meters below a thick layer of salt, Petrobras' recent oil and gas discoveries in the Santos Basin will change Brazil's relative position in the oil industry. This is Petrobras President Gabriele on the pre-salt discoveries. Well, I think Brazil has a very good opportunity right now because we have discovered a new exploratory frontier. We have discovered very large volumes in the 2P field and we are getting very good results in different areas around the, the, the 2P field. We, we are in drilling process right now we, and we are developing new models for uh, new types of reservoirs that are very challenging and very exciting right now. The volumes that we, have, we think are very large and we think that we are moving to a new paradigm of uh, exploration. How will the pre-salt discoveries change the investment plans of uh, Petrobras? I don't have the concrete number, but for sure we are going to affect very much our uh, investment plans because today we have a capex of $112.7 billion dollars and uh, 2P is going to, and 2P and, and the pre-salt area is going to require a lot of new investment. Petrobras has a tradition of applying new technology uh, offshore. Uh, will the pre-salt discoveries uh, give more of that? Yes, we, we pretty much think that we, we have knowledge of the main uh, technological challenges, but we don't have the experience of all different technologies put it together in the same project. That's going to be the new challenge. How are you planning to organize uh, yourself for uh, getting most, most out of the pre-salt discoveries? Well, right now we, are, we, are, we, we have uh, three new drilling rigs that are, are going to be dedicated. We are moving rig, rigs dr from other areas to the pre-salt area. We are going to develop a long-term planning for development of uh, drilling rigs and production systems. We are building a, a plant for production of FPSO holes that are going to be able to produce in series the new uh, demand that we are going to have. And for sure we have to have uh, non-traditional ways to, to, to cope with the uh, critical resources that we have.